So here we are again guys, FIFA 19 hype well and truly underway for me anyway, I hope you guys are obviously experiencing it as well and with the ratings, it's getting a lot of interactions with you guys, obviously a lot of people not happy with certain ratings, some people not happy, uh, sorry, some people happy with the ratings, it's going to be a bit of mix and match uh, with them, a lot of people don't like some of the ratings I'm giving players and I think this video probably is going to be the same as well. Now if you guys have missed, we have done the top 100 over a 7 um, video period. So this is the third video of the set, still four more to come, so probably Tuesday or Wednesday we'll finish it, um, but we are taking a look guys at the top 100 ratings for FIFA 19, it is a predictions video, so guys, it's not official, don't take it like that, even the card designs are done really nicely by a graphic designer who's done some really, really excellent work, and uh, these card styles I do really like as well. So if you guys do want the MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If we can try and hit over 3,000 likes, that'd be absolutely fantastic, and guys, subscribe to me, and feel free to hit the bell button so you never miss an upload on the channel. So like I said, guys, we have done uh, 100 all the way to 61. They're the ones we've done previous. If you guys have missed both of them videos, go and check them out before you get to this one, and then you'll be able to see. This one, we're going 60 to 41. A lot of cards to look at, a lot of interesting players, a lot of players which have been downgraded, a lot of players which have been upgraded uh, as well, but I don't know which way you guys are going to be. But massive thanks anyway, regardless, for your interactions on the video. The comments as well, you guys probably have noticed that I have dropped a few love hearts on a lot of them as well. And uh, hopefully you guys do understand where some of my ratings do come from and others probably stayed. Because they don't really make that many changes year to year in the FIFA ratings. Hence why I've kept a uh, few people the same. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, he should be like 90. He should be like 82, not 86. What you're doing, Bateson? But hopefully you guys do understand my thought process, what goes into these. So with that said, guys, we are covering 60 to 41 today. Let's go and take a look at all of the slides. So the first slide, guys, 60, 59, and 58. We have got Raja Nangolan. Who, according to a lot of people, has had a bad season, not only for uh, uh, for Inter, uh, sorry, for Roma, uh, but also for Belgium, which is one of the reasons why he was off, uh, off-looked uh, for Belgium's success in the World Cup, and obviously the fallout with the manager and stuff, but he's now transferred over to Inter Milan. I've kept him the same, because Raja is one of them well-rounded midfielders with stats... Like, all over the shop. He's good defensively, he's good offensively. And one of the reasons why he is so high rated in game is because of the fact that his stats are above 80. That's usually what Nangolan looks like. I've kept him at 86. Potentially, you could see him drop. It would be disappointing to see him drop in rating as well. Um, but a lot of the Serie A... Uh, fan base on the videos and stuff and when I've talked about Nangolan previously I uh, said he's had, had an absolutely horrendous season but the opposite of that from Inter fans were like oh he's absolutely brilliant can't wait to see him play for Inter it's going to be absolutely amazing and what an absolute brilliant signing it is I still think it's a good signing myself um, but curious to see if you guys think he still agrees with staying with that 86 rated get commenting down below the next one we got is Thomas Muller the Munich um, centre forward left winger striker plays everywhere for Munich we have kept him also actually he may have gone from an 87 down to an 86 maybe but we put him at an 86 rated Munich didn't have the best of seasons, not domestically, domestically they walked away with it as always, um, but in European, and uh, even Muller during the World Cup as well, he wasn't the player which you guys probably expected to see, hence why we have given him that rating. The next player is a Manchester United player, which is Alexis Sanchez, 86 rated as well, I think they dropped him down from an 86, 87 to an 86, um, didn't really do much at Manchester United, one or two goals, all right, didn't really, I, didn't, I don't think he settled in as well as a lot of people expect him to, and that uh, we have dropped him down by one. Left wing, could be playing central role as well, or even higher up, we'll have to wait and see what he is, do decide with the positions uh, and ratings as well, guys. Make, make sure you do keep an eye out on EA's official channels as well, because these are only prediction videos, uh, but the official ones will come at a later date. Um, but guys, three players already, three big players, Muller, Nangolan and Alexis Sanchez, all three of them 86 rated. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on these three players. Now this page, is, I think it's full of downgrades. I won't lie, guys, I think it's full of downgrades. We have got... Three players there, I think, who were all 88 rated in FIFA 18, or half 88 rated in FIFA 18, and have all gone down minus two. Number 57, number 56, and number 55, Benucci being the first one, Ian Robin being the second one, and Meza Ozil being the third one. When Meza Ozil turns up to a football match, and you mean turns up, he is one of the best players in the world. 
but he didn't turn up that often for Arsenal in the past season. The same for Germany as well. A lot of people didn't even know he was playing. Um, Ian Robben. A player which is getting sort of phased out of the uh, Munich system, um, not only with the uh, replacements of faster wingers and stuff like you guys have seen a lot of them come in. Nabry's came into the Munich team now. Whether he gets loaned out or not, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Corman um, as well. You haven't really seen like Ribery and um, Robin come into the fold that much now. So that's why I've downgraded Robin to an 86. And also injuries as well, guys. He has picked up a lot of injuries in the past couple of years. And Benucci, this was meant to be a massive, massive signing for AC Milan. It was. But he got even got a team of the year in FIFA 18, as you guys do know. But he was not seen as one of the best players, guys. He was seen as not... Uh, reliable, he, he made a lot of mistakes in the Serie A and that's why I've dropped him to an 86 and I think people will agree on, I, I think people may agree on the Benucci rating, I think the Robin one might kick up a little bit of fuss and the same Mesut Ozil as well, I think Arsenal fans will go straight defensive uh, for Mesut Ozil but I don't think he is an 88 rated player uh, if you look at the other 88, 88 rated players in game currently um, I would say that as a massive drop off I'd probably say a minus 2 on Ozil uh, would be fair Maybe a minus one at the push, but I think Ozil definitely does um, deserve that downgrade. But saying that, he is the FIFA Interactive World Cup ambassador. Maybe that might save a point or two on his rating, but that is three major downgrades that I've given as a prediction for FIFA 19. The next page, guys, we've got defensive players. We've got two goalkeepers and a CDM. We've got 54, 53 and 52. Uh, we have got Vidal, Toro Vidal for Bayern Munich. A few Munich players of you guys have seen. We got to Stegen as well. He got upgraded in the January transfer, uh, January window, uh, January upgrades. Uh, he got upgraded to an 87. I think potentially he could go to a higher rating, but with keepers, they they have like a, I don't know. It's a weird rating system that he have given them. You've seen the likes of De Gea, Neuer, all them guys at the top top, and then you're seeing all black, and then you're seeing a bigger drop even further down where the likes of Luis Navas and and Ter Stegen are. I don't even think Navas has got an 87 rated card in FIFA, but I think he's one of the best goalkeepers around. And the same for Ter Stegen. These keepers are playing for two of the biggest clubs in the world, the two biggest clubs in La Liga, and they're doing the business. Ter Stegen very very trusted keeper got a, a tots if that means anything as well um, but we have kept him at the 8 and raid we bumped up Navas to join him as well I probably maybe if I was to do that guys I'd probably go Navas 86 and to Stegen 87 uh, but Vidal 86 as well I think that's a fair um, fair thing for him obviously a good player when he plays but uh, the 86 rated similar to Nangolan guys very good offensively and defensively is that style of card and uh, a player which I'm looking forward to using in FIFA 19 if uh, it's the same uh, setup as it is currently but three players there which have obviously got ratings changed guys let me know in the comments below agree or disagree get commenting now we've got three players which are seen controversially differently by a lot of people Icardi one of the best Argentina, Argentinian goal scorers in the world right now with Serie A, uh, the Serie A suit, which is Inter Milan. He never got took to the World Cup. We saw what Argentina did. It wasn't much. And they were missing that type of striker, in my opinion. Icardi. I would easily say he's an 87, maybe even a higher rated card. Uh, but we have given him a fair 87 rating because he is one of the best goal scorers in the league and does the business when called upon at Inter. The next one is James Rodriguez. 87 rating, kept him the same, reason being he was out of favour at Real Madrid. He was given a lifeline by Bayern Munich and then came good at Bayern Munich as well. Obviously, the World Cup, we didn't really get to see much of him due to injuries, uh, but Rodriguez, I do believe, should keep that 87 rated card. It would be disappointing to see him go lower and I can't imagine him go higher, hence why he is stuck the same with me. The next one, and this one... I'd be curious to see a lot of people's opinions on this. Lukaku, he's gone from an 85 or 86 to an 87. I have upped him. I have upped him. I haven't upped him too much because he's got one of the worst first touches in football. And that's not me saying I can do better. Potentially I could do better because I did a one two pass for Perez one time. And then McGeady spin and then passed it back to Perez. Pretty sweet, good control. But Lukaku, he is a brutal, like, I would, he is so bloody quick as well you guys saw him in the world cup he was so quick um i think he deserves the upgrade did all right for manchester united did really good for belgium as well in the world cup and deserves the upgrade to an 87 would i say it should be higher than that probably not um but then again people's arguments could say yeah definitely he does deserve the upgrade and i'd be curious to get them comments about lukaku down below and read them as well because a lot of people disagree 
and agree with certain players that I say purely down to the club they support. I'm a Liverpool fan, don't mean I'm going to treat Manchester United players different in the ratings, but uh, Liverpool players, you guys see, I am pretty generous with them. And you've also seen, guys, that we've not even got Mohamed Salah in because he's 97 rated when I do that prediction. But three players there, agree or disagree, you know where it is. Now we've got three players, guys. Insigne, Alba and Coutinho. We have got 48, 47, 46, which should, does show us we've got five players remaining after this. Insigne, going up to an 87 rated card. I think staying the same rating as his massive upgrade he got in January. Um, so I keep him at that. We've got Jordi Alba, who I think is one of the best left backs in the world, behind probably Marcelo. Uh, highly rated than Alexandro as well. Uh, we are, he's got an 87 rated card now. He got upped in January as well. Uh, I think to go higher than that would be pushing it. But then again, he could get an 88 rated card as well. And then Coutinho. Another Barca player, ex-Liverpool. Uh, was he 87 rated at, at, at Liverpool? No. Was he 87 rated at Liverpool? He might have got an upgrade at Barca, but he's an 87 rated base card anyway. I've kept him at that because we haven't really got to see him at his full potential. He's one of the best sharpshooters from outside the area. We've seen that in the World Cup with Brazil. He's brilliant, but can I see him pushing to an 88? If so, if he was to get an 88 rate card, it would purely be down to the fact that he plays for Barca. If that type of player was at Liverpool, if he was still a Liverpool player, I don't think we'd see Coutinho push to an 87, uh, or an 88, sorry. I reckon he would be the same rating as he is in FIFA 18 currently. But three cards, a lot of people will be interested in getting them in the teams. Alba definitely, Coutinho definitely as well. If it was a central version, I'm not a fan of left wing because of his pace is a little bit slow. We've got Insigne as well, speedster, good shooter, recent, reasonably, reasonably decent dribbler uh, in game. And uh, I think 87 rated for them three cards is pretty ridiculous. Uh, with that, we are in the top 50 now and we've still got five more cards to look at. Now, with this, we have got Handanovic. We have got Iniesta, who has moved leagues, as you guys do know. We have dropped him. We have dropped him. Unfortunately, we have dropped him. Uh, but that's not taken away from his ability because he's still a high-rated card. We've got Gerard Piquet as well, uh, a Barcelona player. We've got Handanovic into player. Um, 87 rated for Handanovic. Could potentially push to an 88 rated uh, player, being one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Iniesta, it's the same with, like, you guys saw Ibrahimovic, where I dropped him down because of age, because of league and stuff and potentially that could happen with Iniesta more than likely we've seen the likes of uh, Fernando Torres leave the league as well he's gone to another team uh, in the J League I believe uh, and Iniesta potentially I could see him drop down uh, to uh, an 87 maybe even an 86 uh, come FIFA 18 still one of the best players of our generation is hands down uh, no question about that he is a ridiculous dribbler and passer and um, what he did with um, what he did at Barcelona and with Spain as well during his career has been fantastic. Um, but I can see him EA maybe hitting him uh, in the stats because of his age. We've seen that numerous amount of times throughout the years. And then we've got PK, 87 rated. Not bad. A bit a bit of a liability sometimes, but it's the same a lot with a few of the um, uh, defenders from, Bayern, uh, from Barcelona. Uh, with that... I could see him maybe going to an 88. I could see I could see it, but I, I, I always play my rating safe, as you guys do know. So we've got an 87, 87, 87 with PK, Iniesta, and Hanan Danovic. We are, I think we're finished on 87 today as well. So after today, we're going to see some big, big moon, money moves uh, with the ratings. But we've got two more players to look at, guys. Take us to 41. Let me know in the comments section below on these three. And the next two guys, one of them from Napoli, one of them from PSG, would be Napoli's highest rated card, 87 Hamsik. He has got a card at 87 already, we've barely touched him, and the same with Cavani as well. He is a ridiculous striker, um, I could see him maybe pushing to an 88, but EA will have to be very, very generous to do it, um, but saying that... How are you going to get people to play with Neymar and Papi and stuff? You're going to need Cavani in there, so why not up his rating as well? Uh, Cavani, we saw how good he was for Uruguay, scored some very, very nice goals. I just shame the rest of the team, let him down. Hamsik, we didn't see him at the World Cup because he never qualified. But, nice hair, decent kit this year as well. And Hamsik, but just basically kept the ratings of these two guys. Because they haven't done, they, well Hamsik's had a good season. Even Cavani's had a good season as well. But I can't see him pushing them higher. Because he's, one of the reasons I, I look at ratings and don't really mess with a lot of them. Is because EA don't really mess with a lot of them year in, year out. Reason being, is the higher rated the cards there are. 
the less gap they've got to make insane uh, informed cards, team of season cards and stuff. And you guys have seen the variety of cards here thrown out this year. It's been pretty ridiculous. Latest one last night, guys. 98 rated Buffon, which is crazy as an end of era. But that's all 19 players looked at today, guys, from 60 all the way um, to uh, 41. We're going to be back tomorrow uh, with another video. So you guys, if you are uh, not happy with the ratings i've given them feel free to leave some comments down below specifically to the player which you guys don't agree with and uh, hopefully you are guys you are enjoying all the uh, rating videos we are doing on the channel you guys leave a like rate, subscribe all that good stuff and continue with the interactions and everything guys i love it i love getting thoughts feedback everything and i like discussing the previous video as well as it does give me a little bit of a heads up as to what's going down so with that guys keep an eye out on the channel if you missed any of the rating videos as well go and check all them out we've done icon videos we've done a lot of fifa 19 videos now and hopefully you guys are enjoying them leave a like rate and subscribe until next time, guys, see you later. Have a very, very nice rest of your Saturday morning and maybe a video later on tonight if you hear do anything around the footies.